death penalty is also known as capital punishment. In law definition, it is the sentence of execution for murder and some other capital crimes. As of the year 2020, a total of 53 countries still have the death sentence, employing a variety of methods including hanging, shooting, lethal injection, electrocution, and beheading. This death penalty really give victims their justice? What is the psychological impact of death penalty? Your questions will be answered in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Psychologist Dr. Robert T. Mueller reports that psychological studies have found that the death penalty produces negative effects on families and friends of murder victims. Lula Redman, a Florida therapist who works with family members of murder victims, said, More often than not, families of murder victims do not experience the relief they expected to feel at the execution. Taking a life doesn't fill that void, but it's generally not until after the execution that families realize this. According to the study of Michael Osofsky, the psychological experience of security officers who work with executions. During 2001, 50 interviews were conducted of security officers who either work on death row or are a part of the execution process in Louisiana. The reported results are primarily descriptive due to their desire to understand the execution process and psychological impacts of carrying out the death penalty. The security officers stress their professionalism. In their efforts to adjust and function successfully, they struggle internally. According to Madrid and Company in 2001, that sentence to the offender can bring guilt to the victim, further sorrow, and conflict within affected families. Victims of incestuous rape rarely seek the death of their offender but simply desire the cessation of abuse, re-establishment of safety, and rehabilitation of their family member. A common argument for the death penalty is that it brings closure to the victims and their loved ones. Indeed, research shows that some families do experience relief or peace upon the imposition of death penalty on their offenders. Yet, in significant number of cases, the death penalty did not bring healing or closure to the offended, according to Volum and Longmere 2007. Instead, what seems to be therapeutic for the victim's families are to make sense of what happened to their loved one, to make meanings out of their unpleasant experience, and to construct an empowering and restorative narrative. One of the four main arguments expressed in the debates of the Constitutional Commission is that the capital punishment traumatizes not only the prisoner but also his family. As one of the commissioners, Bishop Chidor Bakani said, just the thought that he was going to be electrocuted, that he was among the dumb, so to speak, was such a terrible torment, not only for him, but to his family. Death penalty affects each person differently. It can be relieving or grieving. It brings out a person's emotions and our weaknesses such as the fear and anxiety you have inside of you, the fear of experiencing the torment and inhumane punishment, and can also be make you feel the guilt of having someone who wronged you die because of you, the guilt that can be the cost of spending sleepless nights, and instead of healing, you might feel another burden inside your heart. 
Capital punishment contend that society should support those practices that will bring about the greatest balance of good over evil. Capital punishment benefits society because it may deter violent crime, but if in fact the death penalty does not deter and we continue to impose it, we have only sacrificed the lives of convicted murderers. I personally oppose to the idea of death penalty, and since I'm not in the position where I could change the law directly, I could still reach out to some individuals and share to them my discoveries that death penalty isn't the right solution for reducing crime rates. I discovered how, to the victims, death doesn't really mean they feel relief, and so I think, instead of focusing on the reimposition of death penalty, we should focus more on helping the victims recover themselves. And I think it is also important to teach children um, teach children the importance of life and so build better future leaders.